Well, I think a lot of them try to even look like Richard. Right. A lot of them catch the, uh, Steve Harvey and Tim Reed. They all try to look like Richard Pryor. I believe that many of them, like Steve Harvey and Tim Reed, attempt to resemble Richard Pryor. I once remarked, who won't pay you club? In response to one of their questions. Owners like to say, oh, that's going to pay me. But nobody has ever tried to extinguish another person's candle to light their own. In the entertainment business, Steve Harvey established a reputation as a role model. Many aspiring comedians and performers regard this industry titan as a divine being. Harvey has been successful over decades, and he's always proud of his rise to the stardom, however. Not everyone believes his blatant lies about originality and talent, and recently, the comedian has been bashed by his ex colleague D.L. Hewley, who revealed that Steve Harvey is a thief since he made his best to steal the identity of another comedian, Richard Pryor, that caused a little bit, a bit of attention. Oh, friction and you. It was weird for a little while, while. But I, everyone, want and welcome back to Celeb Live Channel. So the similarity between two comedians is undeniable. But according to D.L. Hewley, it's not a coincidence and Steve tried his best to imitate Richard in order to make himself a name while it may. Seems just allegations and another attempt to stain Steve's reputation. But when you look at the photos of these two people together, you can't help but notice that they are almost identical but less. Dive into the story of how Steve was stealing Richard's image step by step and you'll see that D. L. Hewley has all the reasons to confront Harvey and call him a thief while Steve Harvey doesn't hide the fact that Richard Pryor is one of the greatest influencers in his life and basically his comedy hero and I I've turned around it was Richard Pry and I couldn't even breathe man. It's Richard Pryor but it didn't prevent him from going behind Richard's back and take more than just one page. From his book, it looks like Steve Harvey wanted it all so badly, so he decided to imitate his idol completely. Starting for appearance now, D. L. Healy has witnessed another vicious stab made by Steve when Bernie Mac was casted for the Ocean's Eleven Dynasty. Steve Harvey went to the director and producer to try and steal the role from him. And even told them he would take less money, they said no. At this point, it became clear for D. L. Hewley that Steve wouldn't rest until he's famous and rich, and no obstacles and limits were gonna stop from getting what he wanted, and that that was the spa that made me think, man, I could be some... Because he kept saying, I am the greatest according to Dale Hewley, while it's always great to have an inspiration. It appears that Steve took his imitation of Richard Pryor a step too far and essentially transformed himself into a carbon copy of him. However, in the business, where everyone closely observes one another, it quickly became apparent that Steve was essentially transforming himself into the next Richard Pryor, even with the way he told jokes, but it doesn't seem to be the case. I was leaving and I was sitting in a hotel and a voice said to me said, look around, what do you see as the family feud host career was soaring to new heights, the fact that he was imitating Richard Pryor became too oblivious for many people and John Widerspoon once openly mentioned in this interview that Richard was a very popular stand-up comedian. Rich was very popular. He's one of my favorite. Who else could it be? I mean, so no wonder that young and aspiring comics like Steve Harvey tried their best. To you to be like Richard, however, as John mentioned, Steve went a little too far and he basically created his own stand-up image and identity by using Richard as a role model. Well, I think a lot of them try to even look like Richard Wright. A lot of questions. Huh? Steve Harvey and Tim Reed, they all try to look like Richard Pryor. Now it may be a bold thing to tell this to Steve Harvey's face that his entire career is built on plagiarism, but it looks like the comedians truly can't stand Steve because of dish. Honest ways he was using to make himself a household name in the entertainment industry. However, Steve could have fooled himself by thinking that he was hardworking and original comic, the social media. Users don't hold back and mention the physical resemblance between two comedians. As one user wrote, I was wondering, when somebody famous was gonna say it, he'll never be a Richard Pryor. But he's definitely a copycat. And another user added, I can't stand Steve Harvey, especially for what he did to his vibe. Wrist wife, he is not a decent man. 
It's true that there are many unpleasant stories about Steve Harvey's true character, so be sure to watch my other videos about the immoral things the well-known comedian engages in. However, returning to our story, it appears that Steve Harvey doesn't see himself as a pitiful copycat because he is confident in his unwavering originality. This is exactly how I feel I want to live. And here's another thing that makes DL happy. Healy believes that Steve's success is based on his imitation of Richard Pryor. Apparently, before meeting his idol in person in 1995, Steve struggled to stand and his career prospects were grim. However, in 1996, when Steve finally understood what he had to do to make a significant breakthrough, he began hosting his flagship show, and ever since that time, his career has taken off. The show was especially well-liked by African Americans, and Steve still holds that meeting Richard Pryor was the most significant event in his life. Steve once shared on Instagram that meeting his comedy partner Richard Pryor was the biggest moment of his life. Idol was one of the most life-turning events of his life as the comedian later shared he got so emotional after meeting the legend that he cried for 20 minutes straight. He was the whole reason it God in comedy. You know I got through talking with him the ABC Connie Awards was in this huge hangar they had decorated. I went behind the bar, cried for 20 minutes other stand-up comedians. Such as Martin Lawrence, Chris Rock, and Eddie Murphy have all mentioned that Richard Pryor was their biggest influence as well. But no one was so pathetic as to steal the whole identity of Steve Harvey and that's why D. L. Hewley cannot kipe silence seeing this outrageous and shameful plagiarism. Say the things I say, it's not about hate, it's about bout. I can't let you do these things knowing what I know and pretend like I don't. Although Steve Harvey now thinks he's a Richard Pryor of his generation, and many young comedians are looking at him as a godlike figure and seek his advice on their careers as comedians, it seems. Like people who have been there with Steve since the start see right through his thievish nature and it's not the first time when the Family Feud host is accused of copying someone else's work or image a couple of years ago. Comedian Mark Curry blasted Harvey for violating a code of honor among comedians and he claimed that Harvey stole his comedy routine. Steve stole my material in his show, so I had a beef on that when he was on his Beast Talk show that he had. He did all of my Halloween. Material one Halloween, however, it's not surprising for D. L. Healy to see the stories like this surfacing because he himself witnessed how Steve Harvey was tried to take everything that's not his I've 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 seen that before before I knew a word was what word it was I don't even know what human being think that's okay there's been also talk about Steve Harvey's dubious talents as a writer.